Okay, so in this video, we're going to be covering the uh, completed setup of the GPS rescue on the HDLRC Sector 5 V3. It has been most of the way set up. It's just been disabled for actually triggering via failsafe and via a switch. So we're going to be setting that up in this video. And for the most part, um, a lot of these things you could probably apply to any generic quad with a GPS on it. And uh, I'm going to assume that you guys have already or already know how to install the hardware. It's fairly simple. There's going to be some variation based on your manufacturer and who, um, like, you know, their particular settings for their GPS. For the most part, uh, basically, you just need a spare UART, um, a TX and an RX on the same UART. And the speed's going to vary. You'll see that in the settings here in a moment. But um, as far as I know, you're going to need a full UART. I heard of stories where GPS could possibly work on soft serial, but I have not been able to get that to work myself. So if you're in a situation where you have um, only two UARTs, for example, like one for your receiver and one for the GPS, and then you need something like uh, Smart Audio or DJI, I think Smart Audio and DJI can go on a soft serial. So if, for the other UART that's free, use the full UART for your GPS. Anyway, so moving on, so assuming you've got your GPS set up properly, uh, it's going to be basically, you're going to need power. It's usually going to be 3.3 volts or 5 volts. And then you need an RX and TX connected properly to your flight controller. And at that point, you're going to then set up the rest of it in beta flight. So we're going to go into beta flight here. Let's go over to the ports tab. And we can see here that the GPS is set up on UR2 on this uh, flight controller on the sector. Uh, 5v3 and the speed set to 115,200. So the next thing you gotta make sure is set up is on the configuration page, the GPS needs to be turned on. And this particular GPS uses the U-Blox protocol and it's set for auto config and that is all you need to do for uh, this particular model. Next, I'm going to go to the fail safe tab and here you can see it's currently set to drop and this is where they uh, have not turned it on yet. So we're going to go ahead and enable GPS rescue for the uh, when, when a fail safe occurs. And for the rest of these settings here, you can read those in the uh, GPS uh, rescue wiki. These are pretty much, I think these are all default settings. And then in this particular case here, they have the allow arming without fix turned on. So that means that you can actually turn, you can actually arm the quad and fly without any fixed satellites. So it won't even know where your home, your home point is. And the home point's not set because the home point has to be set before you arm. And they did this because obviously they've disabled everything so that you can basically take off without the GPS actually being active. Now for me, and I actually know what's going on here. So I'm going to leave that on so that I can actually take off if I want to. But just know that if you do take off without actually having a satellite lock, and you uh, turn on the GPS rescue function, you uh, may go off to somewhere random uh, because the home point isn't properly set. So be aware of that. What you should probably do is turn this off. If you want to do it properly, turn it off and then wait until you've acquired all your satellites before you arm and then you, you'll know that your home point set properly. Even after you've set your home point, um, if you know you have your home point set, you should always, you should always check that the home arrow is working and pointing in the way you expect it to so that you don't have any unexpected uh, flyaways, for example. Now for my particular setup here, I've actually turned on the failsafe only sanity check. And this is only because if I want to test the GPS rescue and I am less than 100 meters away, if you do this without this setting set properly, uh, the, the, the drone will just disarm and it'll drop to the ground. So um, I know a lot of people have trouble with GPS rescue where they actually uh, initiate or, or flip it into GPS rescue mode, but with this out, without this setting and they're within a hundred meters and then they drop to the ground, they're wondering why it's not working. And this is the reason why. I only have this turn because I know that I, there might be times I want to test it where it is less than hundred meters away. Now, if you have this set to the standard default setting 
and you test it and, and trigger the uh, GPS rescue mode further than 100 meters away, then it should work properly where it'll climb to the set altitude and then start heading home. Okay, so next you wanna go into the modes tab and this is where you want to actually set up the GPS rescue function on a switch. So you need an aux channel on your radio setup. Um, that's, a, that's an open TX thing or whatever radio you're using. You're going to need to make sure that that is aux channel is available on a switch so that you can actually turn that switch or flip the switch so that the GPS rescue mode will actually activate. Okay, so here in my, my specific example, I've added a range on aux four. That's the channel on my radio that is actually free and not used for anything. And I'm turning it to the high position where aux four is when I flip the switch to the high position, it will actually trigger the GPS rescue function. So the next thing you want to do is go back into the fail safe tab and you actually want to set the channel setting when a fail safe occurs on the aux channel for GPS rescue to a value that's within that range that will actually trigger it. Now, some people say that you don't need this. I actually always set this so that when a fail safe does occur, regardless of whether this switch is set or not here, I know that it's going to, when, when a fail safe occurs, it will actually kick the aux channel into that position. And if you've actually tested it with the switch itself, then uh, it, when a fail safe occurs, it'll actually work this way. This actually guarantees that it'll work. Now, some people say that you don't have to do this and it'll work anyway, but I do it this way anyway. I haven't tested it the other way where it's not actually set, so your results may vary, but this is the way I do it and that seems to work for me. Okay, so that's pretty much it in terms of the software setup. Now we're ready to go ahead and test fly this and we'll see how this works. All right, so I had to wait for a satellite lock. Looks like I've got one and I got 10 satellites. Yeah, this uh, GPS is a little bit better than the Flywoo one. So I'm getting 10 satellites right away. And about 70, 80 meters away here. So let's just fly around a little bit. Uh, see if I get any weird things going on. 13 satellites now. Home arrow seems to be working. Alrighty. All right, let's head out a little bit and then I'll uh, I'll launch the uh, GPS rescue via switch. Home arrow is working. Let's head over to this corner over here. All right, set the switch. There it goes. And here it's coming back. Yeah, so it's working as expected. I'm going to flip it back out of GPS rescue mode because it's... I don't think that you're going to want to try and land it. The whole point of GPS rescue is not to have it auto land for you because it'll just crash, but to bring it back to where you have uh, receiver range and control and then switch it back into normal flying mode. It's pretty windy right now, but if it's not going to affect this 5 inch too much. Uh, that's someone's uh, skater over there. We got some skaters over here. A scooter. Yeah, so that seems to be working pretty good. Let's try it again over here. Launching DPS rescue is going to increase the altitude. I think it was like 50 meters or something like that. Heading up. 
and heading back. So, seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, this thing, the tune on this sounds really good. This might be uh, one of my, I think this is gonna be my new favorite five inch. And everything's working really well on this. Got plenty of battery in this, but uh, I got other things I gotta do today, so I'll fly this on another time, on another video. So hopefully you guys found this useful and getting the gps rescue set up and working right this is working for me now uh, again uh, when you if you do happen to trigger the gps rescue via switch i think you have to go beyond 100 meters um, to do that otherwise it'll just drop so you got the sanity check thing or something like that so just be aware of that but if you do what i did here in this demo it should work for you